Hi everyone, I'm Sandy Blackburn and I have a few thoughts on Thanksgiving. Um, I know a lot of Christians, we try to live with Thanksgiving every day, uh, a sense of gratitude in our hearts. Uh, we know that each new day, uh, God's mercies are new every morning and I'm so grateful for that. And I am thankful for so many blessings in my life, my family, my church family, my home, my job. I'm thankful when I get to see God's love expressed in the church, um, among the people of the church and from our people in the church outward to the community because I really feel that our church is a beacon in the community. And as a greeter, I want people to feel God's love when they come into our church. Uh, so I'm thankful when I get to see that and um, get to share in that joy. And uh, I know this has been a year of a lot of changes in our country and in our lives, a lot of challenges, and um, it can be scary at times. But I know that if we put our trust in the Lord, um, there's one thing that never changes, and that is God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you can count on that. So um, I will continue to pray for you. I uh, hope that you have a wonderful holiday season, and I am grateful for you. Thank you so much, and take care. Hi, I'm Liz Diaz, and I'm one of the deacons at Highway Tabernacle and the secretary of the board. Um, my husband, Edwin, is the sound guy, and we're very grateful for him as well. Um, I just want to say that I am thankful to the Lord um, for many things, one including my husband. I'm very thankful that we've been married three years now, and I'm thankful for this home and for everything that God has given us. I'm thankful for the air to breathe and the clothes to wear. Um, and most importantly, I'm thankful for his loving mercy and for his forgiveness. I'm thankful that we have a hope in Christ, that we will see him again and that we will be living with him forever. Um, my dad passed away just a couple weeks ago, um, my dad, Art Watkins, and I am very grateful to know that he knew the Lord and that he is at home with the Lord and he's in his glorified body and he's not in pain anymore and that I have hope that I will see him again that only comes through knowing Jesus Christ. And that's what I'm most grateful for this year. I'm also really thankful for my extended family being so supportive during this time, for Pastor Mark and Miss Terry, who are um, related now by marriage through my brother, and for him and his wife, Nicole. Um, I'm really thankful for everyone that came out and supported our family during the tough time uh, during my dad's funeral. And um, I'm really thankful that hard times bring us closer together. You know, God sends us hard times for a reason, and I'm grateful for those hard times, because if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't know how to lean on the Lord, and our family wouldn't be as strong today as it is if it wasn't for those hard times that we go through. So I thank the Lord for being sovereign, for being all-knowing and knowing what's best for us, because only He does. I thank Him also that we can rely on Him as our security. Too many times we trust in our own might, but... Um, times like these during the coronavirus and um, protests and shops being closed, we are reminded that it's only through Christ that we have our security. You know, I'm thankful as a, I'm a school librarian and I'm thankful that I wasn't laid off, but uh, these times remind me that my security cannot come in my own strength, but in God's strength. And I thank him for all that he is for us. He's our strength, he's our anchor, he's our hope, and he is our security, amen. Well, good morning, Highway Tabernacle. It is a great day to be in God's house. In fact, it's a great day just in general. November 29th is a great day in general, but it's a great day for Highway Tabernacle in particular. It was on November 29th in 1894 that seven members of the Cross and Crown Association met to pray and seek God's face for a greater move in Philadelphia. And that prayer meeting is what we look back on as the beginning of Highway Tabernacle. And that's why if you're sitting in the sanctuary today, you'll notice on the western wall, I don't know whether we can get a shot at that. Yes, thank you. That's why we still have that cross and crown logo on our western wall. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you'll notice when they throw the titles up in the lower left corner, we have that logo as well. That's just as a reminder of where we came from, the Cross and Crown Association. Cross and Crown because, as they put it, no cross, no crown. You've got to bear the cross 
if you want to wear a crown. And that was 126 years ago, so happy anniversary, Highway Tabernacle. You know, when Pastor Mark asked us to share some thoughts about the things that we are thankful for this year, I'll admit it, I was really kind of overwhelmed because we've got so many things to be thankful for. And I think a year like this, when there's so much upheaval, there's so much turmoil, everything is being stirred, it really brings into higher focus just how many blessings God bestows upon us. All those things that we tend to take for granted when things are going well, in a year like this, we realize just how much God has blessed us with, with food, and the fact that we're surrounded by family, the, the fact that we have a place to live, we have shelter, we have our health. All of those things are marvelous blessings. So where do you begin? How could I think of, how could I concentrate on just one of those things as being the way that God has blessed us, as being the thing that I'm thankful for? And so as I thought about Highway's anniversary, I realized that there was a single thread through all of these blessings, and that bless, that thread is the faithfulness of God. God has been faithful to Highway Tabernacle for 126 years. Think about that. That's 21 presidents, two world wars, two pandemics, one great depression, and I don't know how many recessions, and yet Highway Tabernacle is still here. And I don't just mean Highway Tabernacle, the ministry, but Highway Tabernacle, you and me, we are still here because of God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness has kept us just as it kept generations of our spiritual ancestors going back to that meeting in 1894. We've got so much to be thankful for. The one who calls us is faithful, and he will do it. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Hi, church. Happy Thanksgiving. Many of you know me, but my name is Cicely. I am a deacon at Highway, and I've been coming here for about 22 years now. I'm so thankful for many of the things this year, but especially the people God's put into my life, including all of you, the church, your prayers, your love for the Lord, and your willingness to be a part of my family. I'm so thankful for the blood of Jesus that unites all of us and makes us a family, brothers and sisters in Christ, and holds each other, helps us to hold each other up. I'm like just amazed at the way that God has worked in our lives through this COVID, even though we're so far from one another. I think it's so impressive that we're able to um, still worship together on Sunday mornings, even from our own homes. And though I miss everybody and seeing everyone, I just am impressed by the ability to be able to still feel like we're together because of the Holy Spirit and God's blood or Jesus's blood that just unites us. And it's a pretty amazing thing. And I'm just so thankful for it. And I'm so thankful that God has given me a chance to be one of his children. And he's given all of us that opportunity. But um, I know it's his grace that's called me. And I know that I'm so not deserving of it. And I feel like there's been a lot of circumstances, especially this year, as we've gone through different kinds of trials, that I've been just reminded how much I'm not worthy of him. And yet he continuously loves me anyway and helps me to change and helps to transform me. And it's been an encouragement. And I hope that encourages all of you also. I um, am so thankful for my friends and my family. And I am especially thankful for one of my greatest blessings, which is my son. Most of you know him, but his name is Jabez. He's um, two years old right now, but he'll it's almost three. He'll be three in December. And I am so thankful for the way that God has just been growing in him. He's grown so much in this year. And that's kind of how I know how long it's been since I've seen most of you, just from how much he's grown. Um, he still loves to give his high fives, but he's talking so much more. And he has so much to say. <laughs> but I've asked him to help me. Say, <laughs> say hi, church. Hi, church. <laughs> I love you. I miss you. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. I wish you all a wonderful rest of your Thanksgiving. And I look forward towards our Christmas season as we look forward to the birth of our king and the celebration. Thanks all. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, from the Woolens. I'm Mike. Maria. Grace. Gabe. Uh, we just wanted to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Um, we also wanted to just say what we're thankful for. Uh, I am thankful so much for my family, and I am thankful so much for all that God has done for me. Um, and I just praise Him. 
Um, yes, obviously grateful for family. I'm also grateful for my church family um, at Highway. It's been a blessing uh, for, I guess, maybe close to 20 years now. And um, I'm also grateful for God, for his love, for his forgiveness, and his grace. That's why we named her Grace. <laughs> Grace, Gabe, anything? Um, well, I'm thankful for family and just for Jesus Christ that he saved us and died on the cross for us. And Grace told me beforehand that she's just really thankful she has such an awesome mom and dad. Uh, anything you want to add to that, Grace, or is that just true? Thankful for a dog. Oh, well. Okay. okay. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.